What's up? Ray doing five seven eight here, and welcome back to Sherlock Holmes. Uh, last time, uh, pretty much, uh, we found out that there's a train gone completely missing. Don't ask me how; it just did. And we talked to this dude. Apparently, a prototype of whatever he invented uh, was on the train, but it must have been super valuable if it was to get stolen. And this guy is there too. Basically, from what we know, whoever was collecting tickets on the train was telling people to piss off. Uh, except a certain group of rich people. I think they were Spanish. Anyways. Um, and yeah, that, that's pretty much it. So, anyways. Um, so, what I believe we're doing now is going to another station. Uh, let's see. Um, let's remember to Abisham. Okay, I, I, I don't know if we're going to Abisham. Wait, where are we going? Solve the mystery, examine Robinson's luggage at the luggage room. Robinson's luggage at Brindleton like left. Okay, let's uh see if we can find the luggage room before we leave. And uh check it out. See if we can find any more cram. So yeah, no uh no Sherlock videos yesterday, so I just wasn't really uh wasn't feeling the best and you know I found out that when I get sick, I mean, I can hand. <coughs> shit. Ugh. Yeah. Well, speaking of feeling sick. Anyways, um, but yeah, I can't think straight when, uh, when I'm sick, so. <clears throat> and that's really not a thing, uh, that you want to happen when you're playing, move. When you're playing a game like, uh, uh, Sherlock's Home. Because, yeah, you gotta use your brain. Here we go. This grip sack belongs to Mr. Robinson. <gasps> I think we should open it, Holmes. This is what they call force majeure. I'll keep watch. Of course. Watson, never heard that word before, but I'm not. I'm gonna use it. All right. Oh man, I might actually have to go blow my nose pretty soon. Oh boy. Um, and. I can solve this puzzle easily. Uh, ooh. Okay. Let's, uh, get this here. Whoops. And then... Hang on. Okay. So, I think this was correct. And then... Nah, probably not. Uh... Okay, let's do it again. So this go here. And this will go down here. And then boom. Wait, no. Oh no, it doesn't work. Whoops. Boom. Oh, I did it. Okay. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, there we go. That was easy. Business papers. Look, Watson. A bundle of contracts. Very suspicious. We should study them carefully. You know, that's a lot of reading. Alright, contract. This is an exclusive sale contract regarding the prototype invention dedicated to appliance supplying electricity on an autonomous way. A medicine electric company, the buyer, understand that they are purchasing this device as is and are in agreement. Mr. Thomas L. Robinson, the seller, is not the- Why is it asking me to skip? Bro, I didn't even finish reading it. Uh, is not responsible for any problem that may rise with the prototype after the purchase. Whether or not those issues were known by either party at the time of purchase, the buyer is obligated to make uh, a prepayment in an amount of 10% of the prototype price in advance upon signing the contract. The remainder should be transferred within one month term. Okay, so we know that the company was a medicine electric company. Mr. Robinson, oh, I didn't know the we did. And the let's see, let's an exclusive sales contract. All right. I think that's about everything that was important on this page, anyways. Yeah. <coughs> okay. This is an exclusive sales contract. Yet another exclusive sales contract. Regarding 
the prototype invention dedicated to appliance uh, supplying electricity in an autonomous way. Hong Kong, Hong Kong General Electric Company, the buyer understand that they are putting the device. Okay, same thing. Mr. Thomas Mr. L. Robinson. Robinson is the seller. <laughs> the same contract. Exclusive sale contract. Well. Okay. So yes, another. another exclusive yep. sales contract. And Robinson was. Mr. Robinson is the seller. Hey, do you think this could be the, uh, the, like, so Mr. Robinson, right, was on the train. And he was going to get ready to sell to these guys that we're finding. Uh, the uh, guys who are in charge of these companies, right? You think these are the rich people that were forced to stay on the train? Now, we don't know if the rich people have anything involved or anything to do with the train robbery. Um, we just know that they were left on there for some reason. We do not know why. Uh, the contract. And Mr. Robinson is the seller. Yeah. Well, it is very clear that this Mr. Robinson received prepayments from various people for his machine. Alright. Oh, that bad company. Alright, right, it's customers. Robertson is a victim. The loss of a machine is a disaster for Mr. Robertson. Even though he planned this fraud, uh, he has lost far more than he could gain. <coughs> the insurance will not cover the total cost of the prototype. Right. Alright, I guess that's what we needed to find. Let's go ask, uh, Mr. Robinson. I don't even know if that's a song. It just sounds like a song, though. I'm pretty sure that's a song. I don't remember uh, where it could be from, though. Alright. I really want to say I think I've heard the song from uh, Dumb and Dumber, but I really doubt it. All right, Robertson. I will not move from here until I receive my refund. Right. See, so you're such a rich man. You think a plane, a uh, plane ticket. You think uh, I mean, a plane ticket would. I don't know how much train tickets would cost back in these days, but you think a train ticket's gonna uh, run you up the business? All right. Um, how do I? All right. Let's go ahead and just see if anybody's gonna. Oh, they do. Okay. Robertson motive. The loss of prototype will bring a lot of easy money to Mr. Robertson. Thanks to the insurance and multiple fraudulent excuses of contact. Uh, I mean, to be honest, we, we're not too sure of anything yet. But I just want to see if I can connect these two down to something. Doesn't seem like it so far. Alright, well, I think we got everything here. Um... Solve the mystery of the event. Yeah, 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 I know. Um, okay. That's the first station master report about the banished train was full of errors and barely readable. It is hard to understand if you confirm that the train passed through the station or not. Okay, so it looks like we're going to Chesterfield Station next. Let's make our way there. <clears throat> um, so yeah, so uh, today, uh, you know what? Uh, I got some really good news, actually. Uh, not just for today. Um, but I got a lot of bonus videos coming out this week. Um, as you know, yesterday, uh, there's technically what I would consider a bonus video, the DVD video, and then whatever else I had. <coughs> whatever else I had uh, come out yesterday. Oh, the Smite. Um, they're technically bonus videos, but since I wasn't going to do Sherlock, I still wanted to bring out two videos because that's always kind of been a thing that I've been aiming for. Um, and yeah, there you go. I mean, there are two videos, so. Yeah, yesterday was a different kind of DVD video. I knew that if I, uh... A fishing advertisement. What do you call it? A fishing advertisement. Advertisement? Oh, I never heard anyone says that. I think, uh, the, my British people are the ones I thought to cause advertisements. But, oh well. Oh no, it's gonna make me, uh, decipher, isn't it? I had thought that all station masters knew the Morse code, but apparently not. I mean, I'm not going to be like, oh, wow, because, uh, yeah, I don't know the, uh, co the code. Are you okay, sir? How could he fall asleep at work like this? <clears throat> Excuse me, sir. Wake up. Ah, his breath. He must have swallowed half a distillery. And that explains the how. By his sleeping off the alcohol, you mean. Wake up, please, sir. Huh? What? 
Uh, the 18 hour 72 train has arrived. Good day to you. We are investigating the disappearance of last night's train, and we should like to ask you a few questions. Whew. Your eyes are crusty, my dude. But yeah, your nose, are, your nose is pretty big, too. <laughs> Alright. Bad nose. Clean clothes. That kind of rhymes. Married. Alcohol flask. Ooh, that would have been hard to see if I didn't accidentally scroll over it. Fishing line. Interesting. Were there any passengers who got off that particular train at your station last night? No. Nobody, it seems to me. Although I did not leave my office, so... No doubt you were very busy. You don't say. You can't ever get any peace around here. Ah, you have to send a telegram each time a train arrives and departs. Oop. The station master Bertram from Bridlington showed me a strange telegram that he received from you last night. It concerned the train, but it was barely comprehensible. What? He's a fastidious little twerp, that Bertram. I remember everything quite clearly. It was late, and I was tired, but I did my work. So what? There's no need to be so petty. Guys, not making any sense. You were not tired. You were inebriated. Tell me the truth now, or I shall not hesitate to document your state in my report. My friend means that you will end up by being sacked from your position. All right. So I was drunk. I don't remember all of yesterday, to be truthful to you. Please don't go harsh on me. Holmes, this man has consumed a considerable amount of alcohol. He's not entirely helpless yet, but... It will not be long before he is. Obviously, his testimony cannot be trusted. Uh, take everything he says with a grain of salt. All right. Uh. Here we go. Let's see. Past Chesterfield. The train passed through Chesterfield Station despite our... Be our being unsure if the station master sent the report. <laughs> Miss Chesterfield, the train never passed through Chesterfield Station. The station master was drunk, and his testimony seems unreliable. He could have sent the report without witnessing the train. Uh, ooh, yeah, both are very uh, possible. Let's uh, go here. All right. I don't think anything is going to connect just yet. Yeah, these things really don't, uh, none of these things actually really, uh, have much to do with each other. But, you know, you gotta be there. Alright. Let's, uh, let's check out this station now. A telegraph. Yeah, that's what I was uh, saying before, though. Uh, yeah, so uh, I'm going back on uh, Ghost of Tsushima. Um, I, I'm trying out the... I never actually beat the game, but I'm trying out the PS5 version. Um, and, yeah, you know what? I haven't quite gotten to play the game much, but... Locked. It is there locked. is no sense in asking the Station Master to open it. We shall have to pick the lock. Oh, fuck me. Is it going to be a... Oh, this is out. Oh, okay. I can do this. So if there was gonna be like an oblivion, like, like lock picking, I was gonna be like, fuck that. But anyways, um, oh, that was easy. But yeah, uh, basically there's a Ghost of Sima, uh, video coming out today, um, as well as uh, this one, and uh, it's we're gonna be trying like a new game mode that we that wasn't there when we uh when we were first playing Dad, when it first came out. Recently dragged here. French wine. A remarkable vintage. These bottles are too expensive for a station master's wage. They were likely taken from the parcels. Shameful. 
Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's unfortunate for whoever bought that. Because, uh, yeah, I wouldn't want anyone digging through my shit. These tools were used quite recently. They are still muddy. We should ask about them. You say you want to... Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess... We're, we're, Really, he's the only guy here that we can talk to, but again, unreliable. Ooh, this place is a mess. Holy crap. My dad would freak out over this place right here and start cleaning up right away. A handcar wheelbase. Interesting. It hmm. appears that elements of the same construction were scattered everywhere. Watson, please tell me, do you believe in magic? Of course not, Holmes. Then you are of the opinion that a train cannot simply disappear. Well, we both know that that is obvious. Why are you asking such peculiar questions? A little patience, Watson. You will understand my point quite soon. So, I love it when he are you that. quite certain that you saw the train at Evesham Station? Yes, of course. We saw it coming. The headlights and heard the whistle. But that is it. We yeah. didn't see the train. What if it was itself. that that we um, saw? But, oh, Holmes, I'm a little confused. Oh, come on, Watson. Keep up, keep up, fam. All right, nah. It's cool. Watson's cool guy, so. But yeah, what if this is what we saw and not the actual train itself? Fake train experiment. Dismantle handcar system seems to to a mystery. We construct the handcar to see if if they can annotate the vanished train. I like his hat, by the way. So, I wouldn't wear it, uh, like, you know, if I was going out, hanging out with some, uh, friends. But, uh, I nah, should use I like the appropriate it. object here. Alright. Oh, shit. We're actually gonna have to make this? Oh, boy. Uh, that did not look wheel to me. I should uh, use the appropriate object here. Well, give me a second. I never thought I was going to be building I use the this thing. I should use... I should use... Alright, you know what? That's probably not even the uh, correct item. There we go. Wheel. It's here. Um, oh, I guess we're going to need another wheel over there. Oh, no, probably not. Okay, okay. I guess the wheel's already been made. Whatever. Um, I should use the... What else we got? Oh, yeah, we got this thing. Boom. And then we're going to need something here. Oh, yeah, there you go. Bingo. Perfect. Is there anything else we need? A wooden base. Uh, okay. Brakes. Duh. Um. I should use the... Hmm. I should. Right. Well, if the brakes don't go here, I should. Then there's got to be something else that we haven't picked up yet that can go there. Okay, maybe I'm tripping. Maybe, uh, there's a place I, for this thing I, to go. I, At this point, I'm just like, <laughs> I'm just pressing button. I should you. Wait, can I not, like, spin this thing around or something? I should. I, I, I. Hmm. I feel like I need to. Oh my god, fuck off. I Hey, I tried, okay? Can't call me stupid now. Alright, there we go. Boom, and boom. Alright. We still got another thing to pack up. Or is this it? Oh yeah, we need this uh, station light here. Why doesn't... I can't... Well, let me uh, pick it up, though. Alright, I don't know what else we... Uh... I think we did it. If you exit this part now, your progress will not be saved. Well, 
I mean, I don't know what else we need. Oh, duh. It's wooden board that is like at the very edge of the screen. <coughs> so, boom, boom. Oh my God, I'm so smart. <laughs> so, I know how to build a now fake here train we have thingy. The fake train that we saw approaching Evesham Station last night. Doesn't look much like a train to me. Be patient, Watson. I haven't finished yet. Try using your imagination. Our train requires only a headlight and a steam whistle. All right, so now we just need a headlight and a steam whistle. Which I've been looking at this thing. Yeah, here we go. Whoops, hand. Well, okay, there we go. And now we need a whistle. Here we go. Perfect. Oh my god, I feel like a detective, dude. <laughs> oh, I feel good. I feel good. Oh, man. Alright. And so then... I need some... Let's see. How do I... Uh, I... That I per perhaps I didn't get everything I needed. Alright, let's go back in here and check. Um... That uh, I guess. I guess I'll need a fire extinguisher. Alright, I think I, I guess I got everything now. Uh okay. The long pole is now attached. It will allow us to connect the headlight. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Holmes. The headlight is attached. The steam whistle is now connected. Uh, so wait, Holmes, do we need that? What can we do to make the steam whistle work? Ah, the fire extinguisher. My dear Watson, we shall need a fire extinguisher. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I, 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 knew was, I knew why we picked up the fire extinguisher this entire time, you know. I was just uh, trying to make a the dynamic audience. Now, let us thing. see what we have here. And, oh, there we go. The steam whistle is ready to be used. Watson, I do believe that we have created an exact replica of the train that vanished in front of us last night. The criminal mind can be most inventive. I am somewhat in awe. So, such a thing is possible. If someone went to all the trouble of creating this fake train, then it was surely with the intention of stealing the real one. Ah, Watson, you should not jump to conclusions. In fact, this does not tell us very much at all, except that the train did not evaporate into thin air. Although you half suspected it. Huh. At any rate, we now need to find where the real train might be hidden. I suggest we use my archives to find a more detailed map of our surroundings. Well, I hope that justifies our having to load your massive archive suitcase onto the cab. It made us extremely unpopular with our driver. I'm pretty sure he had worse. Don't worry about him. All right, fake train, spare parts of a hand car. All right. Vanished earlier. The train never reached Eversham. It disappeared earlier and was fake by somebody using a hand car and a spare train parts from Chesterfield Station. All right. So now we are believing that this is all ruse and nothing actually uh, okay so nothing connects us yet all right cool uh so where are we going next uh dialogue there are a number recently said oh yeah we gotta talk to the guy there and then search archives is the archives gonna be? Uh, I don't think it's gonna be back at home. We can't. We can't go home just yet. So I guess the archives is gonna be in here somewhere. Uh, I don't know. This is uh, ask this guy first. You have quite a number of dirty tools lying around here. Ah, yes. Well, thank you for reminding me. I should clean them. Although it might be easier to put them outside. Seems it might start raining soon. I meant, what were they used for? Some workers come here and borrowed them from me. 
They wanted to lift the edge of the railway to one of the stations on the line, so that the water wouldn't come in too close. Who were these workers? Well, they didn't seem to be from the company, but they was fine lads. They invited me to share a drink, <laughs> and whatever it was, it had a kick to it. They wasn't English. No, I don't believe so. But see, they knew just what a man needed to brighten up his dull evening. Ah, oh, will I ever get any peace? A fake train. Ha! What a clever and devilish trick. All right. This bin is full of empty bottles. We know he wasn't alone here last night. Uh, a couple guys came in here and had a great time with them. Um, it's a common map of this railway district that was found at every same station. So, okay. Alright, so now I just gotta find where the archives will be. Um, I wonder if that unlocked the new location for us. Mm, no. Now we have two oh. maps. We must combine Nailed it. them properly. Oh, okay, here we go. Oh, shit, okay. Uh, Alright, so now we gotta just try to find the right... Uh, I'm gonna assume these are train tracks? Or roads, so... Now we gotta find the right road that will connect us to... This place. Hmm... I think I found it. Yeah, bingo. Here it is. There is a side branch to the railway. Its first switch is located between Bridlington and Chesterfield stations. There is one more station to be visited. It is located between Chesterfield and Evesham, and there should be a side railway to the nearby quarry. There is a small section of a railway at the end of Evesham station. All right. Before we end this episode, let's go ahead and check, uh, see if we can go check this, uh, small railway. Can we get down on it or something? Can we get down here? Oh, we can. Oh, no, I just got teleported just way back. Uh, alright. So that's why we saw the train disappear. Okay, cool. We can. Wait, can we ask for use the. No, we can't. Hmm. Alright, whatever. Um, whoops. Alright, well, let's go, let's go and check out the uh, last station before we call this an episode. So, I like you people. You guys deserve uh, an extra few minutes. So. Um, alright, let's go to the station here. Between East Dam and... I forgot what it's called. Chesterfield. Knew it. <coughs> alright. A funny character. He looks anxious. And he is not an Englishman. I thought that was a dude, like, hanging from a wall, like he had something, like he got impaled or something. Sorry. <laughs> Silent Hill. Newspaper right. articles on horse racing, hurdles, steeplechase, and flat racing. He is a true enthusiast, Holmes. Betting slips for horse racing. Hmm, very interesting. The sums are quite impressive. It can be an expensive vice. This man had probably used all his savings. The question is now, where is this man? Why is he not working? See, if we find another drunk guy... A telegraph. And it's just gonna make this case all the more complicated in a very interesting way. This guy, guy's been here for a while. Hmm. What this the scent is oh. familiar to me. 
But in order to recognize it, I must combine my associations into one picture. I mean, I think we can kind of see where this thing is going. So move the mint leaves over to here. I think. Or hang on. Maybe we should move. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, so this works there, this goes here, and then this will go here. The music is like definitely giving me like American McGee, Alice in Wonderland vibes, so. Uh, in other words, it's a greenish great. brown cigar with a strong <coughs> aroma, eerie. a hint of peppermint. Ricardo. You already know the name of this man? Holmes, you amaze me. No, Watson, I refer to the cigar. I was gonna say. It is a Ricardo Turrent, a Mexican cigar of an excellent quality. Quite an expensive one, too. The fact that Holmes knows his cigar by sniffing it is, uh, makes me know that he's a heavy smoker. Or oh, he's just really smart. I mean, now that kind of got me wondering, do cigarettes have the same smell? No, this this is, you can tell that I don't smoke cigarettes, so, like, I don't even know. Um, but, yeah, now I kind of wonder, do cigarettes have this different smell? I'm not going to go around and, and start sniffing people's cigarettes, so this don't worry. This ashtray is full not of that ash curious. and cigar stubs. Those chillin' wine, they think... They, I, I'm Apparently, there was a conflict between the Mexicans and the Chileans. Ah, so there we go. And remember, we uh, we were told uh, the day before that the people, uh, the rich people who were left on the train, I believe, were Spanish. So this ashtray is full of ash and cigar stubs. Ew. A greenish brown cigar with a strong aroma, a hint of peppermint. These ashes and cigar stubs are similar to the one that we found on the floor. Some of the stubs were recently smoked. There are others that appear fairly old. That means that the fellow spent several days here. Judging by his clothes, he's hardly a traveler or a tramp. Well concluded, my dear fellow. A man who smoked the Ricardo brand of Mexican cigar spent several long days at Doncaster Station. Alright. Well, I guess it's now time to go talk to this man. If he's still here. Holmes, look. There's a flooded area over here. Hmm. I believe that the flooded area might be worth checking. There's the station master over there. Railway post bags. This post bag belongs to the station master. Corwell Advocate Agency, Main Road, BR 69HJ, Bromley, London. In reply to your last warning letter, I wish to assure you that I shall soon honor all of the latest installments that I need to pay according to my debt. Your faithfully, Edward Duff. Letter to wife. The station master appears to have found himself in some financial trouble. Seven Alpine Street, Bassford, Nottinghamshire. Uh, my darling, uh, I ask you to trust me this time. I shall soon have more than enough money to repay the house mortgage. It's only a matter of days. You may continue living in the house without me since that is your wish. Please know that I still care about you and I hope that you will forgive me one day, despite all of the harm I have caused in recent years. Yours, Edward. Yes. It was meant guilty of something. A fake train. Ha! What a clever and devilish trick. Stay right there, fam. I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you right after I check this place out.
All good. So. Good day to you, sir. My name is Sherlock Holmes, and this is Dr. John Watson. We are investigating the case of the vanished train. Is that so? Well, good day, gentlemen. I am Mr. Duff, the station master of this station. I'll be happy to help you in any way I can, but there's not much that I can tell you about last night. I was gonna say, this guy has a very straight stare. Melancholy. You know what? Forgive me for my ignorance, but I've heard this word so many damn time, and I actually never took the chance to actually see what it's like. What, uh, what do you call it? I actually never took the time to actually understand what it means. Uh, melancholy. Sadness or depression of spirits. Oh, okay, yeah. We already know this guy's going through some financial troubles and stuff like that. So, okay, cool. Now I know what melancholy means. So now I'll probably use it in my, uh, my dictionary. No wedding ring. <coughs> I was going to say, yeah, because we just found a letter for, uh, this guy was, uh, asking where he spent to his, uh, wife. No watch. Oh, and a train conductor needs his watch, right? Alright. What's this? Missing button. Very interesting. It appears that you may be at risk of some flooding along the line here. You mean that the whole bloody lake is at our feet? Quite so. But it is strange, because according to my map, there should be a quarry here, and behind that, the lake. How should I know? I only arrived here a few months ago. And where did you work before that? Well, I was working in Nottingham, but I asked for a quieter place, so they transferred me here. Life is cheaper. I can't really complain. Did any passengers leave or board the train last night? No. I saw no one as usual. I reported the train's passage by telegraph, just the same as all the other nights. I observe that you are a gambling man, Mr. Duff. You had hoped that your relocation to this small town might have helped ease your addiction, but it was not to be. I beg your pardon? Addiction to what? Ooh, the horse race tickets. We found a number of horse racing tickets inside your office. That's a good catch. Well, well we all have our weaknesses. An expensive obsession, surely, for a station master. It is none of your business. I occasionally attend the races with my colleagues. And anyway, that's my private life. There was a gentleman of Mexican origin, I believe, in the waiting room. Did you notice him? What? A Mexican? Here in the back of beyond? Are you quite sure about that? Goodbye, sir. It is obvious that we cannot inspect the quarry. Instead, we can check the beach area around the flooded lake. All right. We'll go ahead and check this area out, and then we'll uh, go ahead and call it an episode. So, uh, that guy has nothing to do to help us <laughs> with anything. This is fine. I mean, not everyone can be useful, but let's not rule him out just yet, you know? As Sherlock Holmes says in his book, uh, in a great mind, nothing small. <laughs> that's for you, ladies. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, anyways, uh, it's past Doncaster. Uh, the train passed through Doncaster Station. The station master reported it. Miss Doncaster. The train never passed through Doncaster Station. The station master lied and sent a false report. Perhaps he was bribed with the money that he desperately needed. That sounds like a good motivation, but that's also kind of jumping the gun right there. Um... Alright, let's just wait until we actually get the clues. Like, let's just check this place out before we make any uh, assumptions. <coughs> Alright. Um. I guess we're checking around the lake now? Are we? Hello? I guess not. I guess we can check this place out here again. Or not. Alright. Uh. So there's 
large flooded area near Doncaster Station and Old Quarry. Uh, looks like we're gonna be going to another place. All right, yeah, you know what? Fuck that. <laughs> we'll go. Uh, we'll go there uh, in the next episode. Um, so I guess there's really nothing we can discover here, which is fine. But yeah. All right. Well, hey, you know what? This is a very interesting uh, episode. Um, I mean, I, the case too is very interesting. But because uh, you know, like the past Sherlock Holmes games, like in Chapter One as well. Um, it was, it was murder case, murder case, murder case, which was fine, but it didn't really have that much uh, variety in crime or something like that. And the last case we did was another murder case, um, and they are very interesting. Uh, I mean, I, don't get me wrong, they were interesting. Uh, it's just that it wasn't. It's like, oh, another guy got murdered. Time to find out who the murderer is. Like, you know, it can kind of lose this. Uh, I don't know. Like, I, I always preferred by. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I always preferred uh, the variety of uh, crime cases to solve. Um, but yeah, uh, here though, I mean, this is pretty interesting. We're trying to find uh, where the frick did a train go. Um, and yeah, that's all I got to say. So, anyways, uh, thanks so much for watching. Like I said, I got another bonus video coming out today. Uh, fully check it out. Um, and that's pretty much it. So, I'll see you later.